and I went sometimes to help them, but not much during the winter. And then, what was it? When, when did you leave the Hakshira? Well, m we got a special, we were preparing for transports, but then there was such a rumor going on that uh, we going to Terezin. My sister, Vera, by then was already in Terezin. How did you know that? Well, she just wrote to us before. She volunteered, really. They went, they were the founding members of Terezin because they were told if they go early, they won't be moved on to Poland. So they volunteered to go, and her husband was uh, like in the police, the ghetto police, and she was sent to the forest to plant trees. And then uh, we prepared all the time. We had to. We knew you can go only with one rucksack. So I remember Freddie my future husband, always going in spare time and packing and packing, what do you need? And then mainly they said, you need food. So we cooked up milk in little bricks. We cooked it for hours and made little squares of milk and some other stuff, what would keep. And we packed it in <coughs> a rucksack and a few clothes, not much. And um, it never was good for him how I packed it. So he repacked it, and then we again. I can remember packing that rucksack about a hundred times. And then we suddenly got a call with my sister and her little boy to get into Prague. We didn't wait for the district. It was Hradec Kralove where we supposed to go originally, but we got a special call that we have to go. And so we went to Prague by train and were put in the gathering room. And it was a transport going with um, the madhouse of Prague. And because I was a trained nurse, though an infant nurse, I was straight that you have to look after those people. And they were all mad. It was terrible. The night, we, they were yelling and screaming and tearing your hair and pulling you. Oh, of course, they were doubled as disarranged as normal people would and they were put into a transport and it was hundreds of them and I remember my sister got crazy too because she had that little boy and he was screaming because he couldn't bear the to so many people all screaming and yelling and that was quite a nightmare before then we were put on a train to Terezin and the whole transport nearly was pushed on straight away. But because we had Vera there and her husband was in the police, so they got us out of the transport. And uh, I don't think many other people really were taken out in, in Terezin. They all went straight on. To where? To, I don't know to Poland, I suppose. And so first I moved, uh, my sister was put in a house where there were kids and mothers. You in did your um, sister and brother-in-law meet you at the train in Theresen? Yes, not in the train, but in the Schleuska, we called it. It was like a holding room where when you arrived or when you left for another transport, you always were put in a schleuska. I don't know what it meant. Who was uh, guarding you at this point? 
I don't think we had too many guards. I can't remember any guards. 